Hello, I'm Aaron and welcome back to the Last Stand Gamers channel. So today we're taking a look at some more really cool creations from the Steam Workshop. In fact, we're actually taking a look at two. We've got the Trellalas, Trellalas, oh, I've really butchered that already. But it's a giant city planet and we've also got the Galactica Starport. Now, ideally this starport is designed to be a space station, but just for a cool effect, I've actually put it down here on the planet. So first of all, we're actually going to have a look at the city world. So if we scroll ourselves out, you can just see how vast the city is. You can see it covers the whole of the planet with an intricate route or road network. There's a few things to observe, though. So as we get close, the voxels will load in and the city will start to form. So the whole of this city construction has been built out of voxels. There's different areas and there is roads. There is one or two issues with the roads, so they are not completely smooth. So driving rovers around them, having races can be a little bit difficult. Um, and we can have a look at each of the individual skyscrapers. So if we zoom out a little bit, you can see how the road networks tend to connect to central hubs or rounded areas like so. And then we've got some areas of high-rise buildings. So if we just go through here and the voxels start loading, it does look a little bit nasty until the voxels load in. So give it a second, then the voxels sharpen themselves up like that, and it's really cool. There's lots of areas where you could fly smaller ships through here. The only issue is, of course, with the voxels loading, you better hope that they load in time as you cut through the city itself but you can see we're entering it into a high rise area i just thought this was such a cool planet mod it might be perfect for some of the scenarios that you've got going um in terms of art it's pretty standard and you can see that these buildings could make some really cool bases if you actually drilled them out just living in a city-based planet would be awesome well final scroll out and you can just see the road network in a little bit more detail once again before the voxels recover so coming back in to this centralized city area, you can see these main city hubs have this road that leads around in like a circle cap around them. However he's done this, this is really damn fantastic. So let's actually have a look at the Galactica Star Port. So of course this would usually be in space. And you can see we've got four entrances for large type ships. Now, reading the post on this one, it's yet to be finished. There is still things that need to be finished off, but we've got doors, we've got a function and exterior, and which just looks damn beautiful. Let's start at the bottom here. So there is a little area that's hidden underneath that kind of just points itself into a beacon type shape. I've just stuck that in the planet so it looks like it's supported, but you can see it's got the laser antennas, a little bit of detailing, and this masked built up out of some LCDs that have been semi-constructed. So it looks like it's got some, some construction lines. So that, of course, then expands out into a little observation room. You can see there's a connecting catwalk up there in the center. I tell you, every time I look outside this thing into the city, it just looks fantastic. So let's continue moving ourselves up. We've got the various beams of construction taken out to the hangar bays themselves. We've got some of these little cells that are dropping down. I don't know if there's some sort of storage or counterweight or balance or whatnot. You can see the detail in each and one of these sections. So we've got these grey and white panels. And each one of these windows here are these little observation rooms that you can look out, in this case, upon the city, but usually out upon the stars. So let's work our way around and up. So you can see just the intricacy of the glass, as well as the armour, how it's been rounded and curved into this section to create this really nice sort of oval shape for each of the hangars so you can fit large ships in here. So coming a little bit further up onto the top deck, you can see we've got some blast door reinforcement on there. We've also got this as a miniature sort of docking bay, maybe for a smaller vessel, or maybe the hangar bay down below is full. It's got a fully equipped with a sensor there. Now on this upper area, you'll notice it has a ring that goes around as a glass corridor. Now this is perfect for observation. So you can see if we look out here, you can just be walking through here and you get this really awesome sense of scale of the station itself. You could see all the ships docking and moving around different ports and exits. A few more communications systems on that port. We've got another docking station, one on each side, of course. And there is some smaller docking pads up here as well. So you can see the real nice detailing on the construction of these little pods and modules. You can see there's two of these little rings that have been duplicated, but this one is like a little um, sort of cabin area. But we'll have a look inside in the moment. And not all of this thing is, is, is finished yet. So when it's finished, just what more, what more details do you want? So we've got these little glass observation rooms up at the top here with various different ships on display. It looks like some of PZK's ship designs are on display in here. Maybe it's a little showroom. And up on the top, we've got the central 
sort of meeting trading area. Remember, this is a trading post. The idea is people would come here to trade resources and whatnot. I really like these little antenna areas. Yeah, these are pretty cool with the, the oxygen farm stuck right on top. So how do we get into this thing? Let's have a look. Of course, let's go over to Hangar 2. And we'll spawn our character in. And this should give you a little bit of a scale as well of how large these hangars are. You're going to be capable of getting a large ship in here. And since the hangars are on opposite sides, it stops the issue of you getting stuck inside and then having to turn around. But even turning around a large ship in here wouldn't be a big issue. So you can see the doors fold out to the side. And they are stored in these side wings ready to be closed up. So we'll go onto the inside now and we'll seal the door up after us. I've not yet found the inner button these hangars i'm not too sure exactly where it is but you can see the doors are then sealing up behind us the blast door blocks to protect the, the actual doors from any damage and then the pistons will clamp together look at that and there we go there's the light gone from this area <laughs> beautiful real nice use of ambient lighting in here we've got the docking lights so these little flashing ones leading the vehicle out and it almost looks like there's a force field around the door with that blue lighting effect that they put on all these doors you can see it over there in the distance there as well so you've got this large hangar bay here in the center where you can look around we'll we'll, we'll go back to our spectator camera and come in here because the spectator camera lights a little bit brighter we've got these various little control rooms nothing in them as of yet but you could obviously observe what ship has come into dock you can see what's on board it see what they're going to unload and whatnot and you can see each one of them at each corner of these pillars but this is a really large area you could turn around a large ship if you need to i'd recommend just flying in docking dropping off your supplies and then heading out through the other area now if we come over to one of these dock areas you'll notice there is access into the station here itself via these little corridors if we want to but as ourselves we're going to go right to the top so we're going to access it from this little airlock here. So we come into this little airlock through the side. We are sealed in and we walk down this dramatic corridor. You can see we've got cool blue lighting. These black pillars supporting up either area. And you can see there's some access to alternative decks through there as well. And now we're in the center corridor. So you can see once again the ambient lighting is really played to effect. You can see this slight orangey sort of red tones as well as a yellow tone in the light in there. Just look at these arches that have been created really nice indeed i can't wait to see how this is going to look when it's finished and we've got a table here in the center now this table could be used maybe with a projector module i guess it is looks like that's not quite finished just yet though so as we pop into these other areas these will lead you back out to the other airlocks on the other side you've also got access up to some of the other storage and locker rooms and the tinier little pad up here for fighters or maybe an, uh, a trading emirate emirates oh god that's not even a word aaron you, you know what i mean has come to the station to actually have a look at what's going on up on the top deck we've got the showrooms like we had a quick peek on before more projectors maybe showing off what ships people are trading if we cut through here we're back into the central dome area a really cool station indeed let's have a little look in the lower areas see if we've missed anything down here now i believe this is all just storage and alternative sort of dead space within the actual ship itself yeah i thought so this is probably going to be things stored here in the future you can see the cargo storage is actually in this area as well so this station can have a lot of cargo by the look of it that is a hell of a lot of cargo containers so when you're trading and transferring supplies you can trade them directly into the station and that's all still under the floor maybe in an update they're going to need some sort of connect here some way of dropping the supplies off i'm sure that will come in the future let's have a quick look at this ring see how this connects up so it connects up through the airlock that we had a look at before and as we move around that, look at that planet on the outside. It's bloody breathtaking. Lovely to see indeed. What's in these little rooms? I think that's like a little hangar slash locker room. Maybe someone's come to trade and they can just have a quick nap before the trading happens. There's another one of them on the other side as well. Yes, there is. So back to that centralized corridor. Let's have a quick look at the plumbing as well. So it's quite directly connected. Not an overuse of conveyors or connectors. And there is some access for underfloor. So this looks like it's reactor room quite an empty area lots of arches and the reactor is sealed behind this door here in case you do need to access it at least it'll save it in case it blows up and you have some problems some more rooms down here this would be perfect actually if you want to modify this station in your own survival world let's continue dropping down so directly below the reactor is the main hangar room i could imagine some um all thieves breaking up there shutting down the power and trying to steal some 
uranium out of this place. Very, very cool indeed. Anyway, there'll be a link to both the planet, this giant city world, and the station in the description of this video. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know if the, the planet world's something you'd like to actually play on. I'm sure on some PCs with different settings, um, the voxels will load a little bit differently. The only issue with mine is if you are flying at higher speed, the voxels do take a little bit more time to load, but the look of this planet is just absolutely gorgeous with all the rings and the roads leading to centralized areas like this one over here. Anyway, let's thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.